Coming up, we're diving into one of the hottest trends in web design, the bento grid. The problem is that creating these intricate layouts in WordPress often requires advanced design skills and coding knowledge. The good news is that with Beaver Builder's drag and drop page builder, anyone can create stunning bento grid layouts without the need to know how to code. In this video, you will learn step-by-step -step how to build this bento grid layout using Beaver Builder's powerful new box module. Let's take a look at what sets the bento grid design apart. Inspired by the traditional Japanese bento box, where each item is carefully arranged in its own compartment, this design trend focuses on clean lines, balanced proportions, and seamless organization, resulting in a visually appealing grid layout. In web design, the bento grid takes a similar approach, resulting in a clean grid layout that makes your content clear and organized. One of the best known examples of bento grid design is most likely the Apple website. They use it to create those sleek, organized layouts that we can all recognize. Another great example I found is the Procreate homepage. It's neatly divided into sections that showcase their tools, gallery highlights, and tutorials. I would encourage you to visit bentogrids.com. Here you will find many bento grid layouts to spark your creativity and help you to visualize endless design possibilities. Whether you're looking for minimalist grids or more intricate patterns, I have found this site to be a great resource. Now that we've introduced the concept of the bento grid design, along with a few examples, let's dive into creating our own bento grid using Beaver Builder's box module. Before we begin, we need to be sure that we have the Beaver Builder page builder plugin installed and activated on our WordPress site. On this website, I have installed a premium version of Beaver Builder. However, the box module is also made available in the free version of the Page Builder plugin. Let's start by creating a new page if you haven't already, and then click to launch the Beaver Builder editor. In the upper right hand corner, click the plus icon to open the content panel, scroll down, and here you will see our new box module section. Drag the box module onto the page, this box module serves as our overall container. The next step is to set up your grid layout by adjusting the row and column settings. In the box module settings pop-up, go to the container tab and set the display to grid. This action will display the CSS grid options. When working with grid layouts, it is helpful to understand the number of rows and columns that make up your design. Let's take a quick look at our grid box design that we're building. We can see here that our example is made up of four columns and two rows. So for a four by two grid, we will set the columns number of tracks to four and the rows number of tracks to two. Next, in the spacing section, you can increase or decrease the gap and padding to further refine the layout. Keep in mind that you can always make adjustments later as your grid begins to take shape. Next, we will add our flex children containers to form a structured grid, similar to the compartments of a bento box. To do this, let's drag another box module onto the page and drop it inside the grid box module. This time in the pop-up settings box, we want to be sure that this box is set to flex. I find it useful to navigate to the outline panel in order to duplicate this action for the remainder of the flex boxes. In the upper right hand corner, click on the outline icon and then right click on box flex row, which is our box we just dropped in and select duplicate. Repeat this action until you have created four copies, each copy representing one of the containers you want to display. Each box module serves as a container for content. Look back at our example. We can see here that there are four containers. Now we are ready to adjust the appearance of each box and add our content. I like to work from left to right and top to bottom. So in this example, we will start with the orange two by two container on the left. To achieve this look, let's click on the first box module to open up the settings pop-up. When you hover over the layout, you can quickly select the box module you want to edit by clicking the select parent icon in the actions toolbar. The overlay will indicate which module you are selecting. Now under the container tab, scroll down to sizing and placement. 
Here we want to increase the span to two for both the grid column and grid row in order to achieve a two by two box like this. Next, scroll down to the appearance section and click to add a background color. Note that at the time of this recording, I am using Beaver Builder version 2.8. However, coming up in version 2.9, we are working on adding some awesome new background options that I think you are going to love. You can easily add things like background layers, gradients, and overlays to make your designs pop. It's super simple and gives you a ton of creative freedom to really make your site stand out. And I can't wait to show you how it all works. So look for that in an upcoming video. For more information on this, I will link up to an article that highlights even more features coming in 2.9. But now back to our bento grid. This section is made up of a heading and text. So we need to drag the heading and text editor modules inside the box module. Then we can add our content into each module. In order to arrange them as shown in our example where they're in a column on top of each other, we will need to adjust the flex settings in the box module pop-up. In this example, we want to change the direction from row to column so that our content is stacked on top of each other. Note that you can also choose from reverse row and reverse column, which then puts your content in the opposite order. For a line, I've set this to space between. Here you'll have a variety of different options and ways to organize your content within the space and set wrap so that the flexible items will wrap if necessary. Then in the spacing section, let's add a bit of padding. Once you have finished with the first box module, let's go ahead and move on to the next box module. This time let's create a two by one grid by setting the sizing and placement to two for grid column and one for grid row. Then just as we did with the first box, let's add a background color. Then drag in a heading module, add our content, and a text module, and add our content as well. Then we will adjust the flex settings to column and set a line to space between like we did for the first box. Then let's set wrap and add some padding. Now we're ready to move on to our final two box modules. As you can see here, these are each single column and single row. So there's nothing that we need to set for the sizing and placement. All that's left to do is just set a background color and then drag in and add our content to the heading modules and text modules. And lastly, adjust the flex settings. For our fourth and final flex box, we can simply repeat the same exact steps that we just completed to build out the third flex box. So that our last box looks like this. The next step is to ensure your grid design adapts well to different screen sizes. We can use Beaver Builder's built-in responsive tools. Open the tools menu by clicking the arrow in the top bar of your editing screen and scroll down to select responsive editing from the dropdown. And of course, if that's way too many steps for you, you can also use the keyboard shortcut R to save some time. Note that you can toggle between the device sizes by continuously clicking on the keyboard shortcut R. Then to make any required adjustments to your layout, you will simply click on the module that you want to change and then adjust it for that screen size. The responsive editor offers a precise preview of your layout across various devices, and you can view the design at different sizes using the width and height options or the drag handles. Continue to make adjustments to ensure that your key elements remain accessible and visually appealing across all screen sizes. Finally, once your design is finished up, click Done and Publish to save your work. And that's it. You've created a beautiful modern bento grid layout for WordPress using Beaver Builder's no-code box module. Want more Beaver Builder box module tips? Check out the links in the description below to get access to even more box module content. I hope you found this video useful. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel to get notified of upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.